Hi there, you're in the lab with your mate JJ. So today we continue on our Maxitronic Sensor Robot 20, which we're calling our 20 in one. Uh, today we're up to project number six, which is the photometer. The photometer. So um, we'll put him together in the booth, and once that's done, we'll bring it over to the bench and we'll have a look at how it works. Let's get on with it. Here we are in the booth. Just. Uh, getting ready, ready to start our next project, which is uh, the photometer. So I'll throw you over to the, to the book cam and let's have a look at this guy. So yes, this is Project 6 Photometer. What it does, instead of generating a higher tone when the cell receives more light, you can use the robot's LED robot eyes to indicate a higher light level. Make all the connections and use the cell to measure the light levels around your home. When you place the robot in a dark area, the lights, the eyes flash slowly on and off. When you place the robot in a brighter area, the eyes flash faster. How it works. When the CDS cell is dark, its resistance is high and the voltage on the plus side of the 47 microfarad capacitor is almost the same as the voltage between the 3.9 kilo ohm and 1.8 kilo ohm resistors. But when the light level increases, the cell resistance drops and the positive side of the 47 microfarad capacitor increases. If this voltage drops, the voltage to both 33 kilo ohm resistors of the A-stable multivibrator multi circuit in block 1 also drops. The time required to change both 10 microfarad capacitors is increased. Therefore, the voltage at the base of both transistors goes up and turns on the transistors. The frequency of the A-stable multivibrator eventually drops. When the voltage on the positive side of the 47 microfarad capacitor goes up as the light increases, the voltage to both 33 kilo ohm resistors goes up. The frequency of the multivibrator circuit also increases, increasing the frequency of the on-off cycles of the LED. There you go. So let's pop you over to the um, booth. And let's put this guy together. So we've got 1 to 3, that's already wired in. And then we've got 2 to 52. Where is 52? Here he is. Looks like a blue wire will do that. It's 2 to 52. Then we've got uh, 52 to 32. 32 is the emitter of Q1. It's, uh, 52. 32 and then we've got 32 to 38 that's connecting uh, the emitters together for uh, Q1 and Q2 that's uh, 32 and 38 and then we've got uh, 38 to 76 76 is our 47 microfarad capacitor over here so we've got uh, 38 to 76 Alright, and then we've got 19 to 29, 19 is one of our LEDs, and 29 is uh, part of our multivibrator circuit over here, it's the uh, the 1 kilo ohm, uh, was it 18 or 19, 19 to 29, 19 to 29, you want to get that wrong because those, transist uh, those uh, LEDs are polarised of course. Yeah, so that's connecting through to the 1 kilo ohm resistor that's connected to the collector of Q1. And uh, then we've got 20 to 18. So 20 is another one of our um, LEDs. And 18 is connecting the, uh, the cathodes of our LEDs together. And then we've got 18 to 4, that looks like power. It is 18 to 4. That'll connect the uh, the power switch to the LEDs. Might as well just turn that switch off while I think of it. Now, uh, 4 to 14. So 14 is the CDS cell on the other side of the board there. Four 
to 14. And then we've got uh, 14 to 53. 14 to 53. Looks like a pretty good one. 14 to 53. And then we've got uh, 21 to 35. 21 and 35. So that's hooking our LED up to our multi vibrator block one. So 15. I think it was. No. What have I done? Twenty one. Twenty one to thirty five. Oh, of course. Okay. Yes. Twenty one to thirty five. Sorry, I confused myself there. Twenty one. Uh, Twenty-one to thirty-five, and then thirty-one to seventy-one. So this is thirty-one and seventy-one over here. Thirty-one and seventy-one, and then uh, thirty-three to seventy-four. Thirty-three is the base of Q one, and seventy-four. Is another one of our electrolytic capacitors. So that's uh, thirty-three and seventy-four, <clears throat> and then we got thirty-six to seventy-two. Okay, 36 is the base of Q2, 36 and 72, another one of our capacitors, 36 and 72, and then we've got 37 to 73, 37 to 73, so this is just hooking in our capacitors, 73. It's like we're going to use all of the electrolytics for this project. We got 54 to 51. So that's just joining two uh, resistors together here in the resistor block. 51 and 54. And then we got 51 to 15. Now 15 up here, it's the other end of our CDS cell. 51 to 15, 51 and 15, and then we got uh, 15 to 30, 30 is over here, so uh, I think a blue one will do that, 15, mm. 15 to 30, and then 30 to 34, a white wire will do for that. Thirty to thirty-four. And then uh, thirty-four to seventy-five. Thirty-four, seventy-five. And that's the last wire. Put that in there. Thirty-four. And 75. So uh, we're not using any of the ceramic caps in our multi vibrator this time. We're just using electrolytics and a few of our lower value resistors and uh, our multi vibrator block one. We've obviously got the LEDs wired in there and the CDS cell, so that's all put together. So let's pop this guy over to the bench and have a look at it. Here we are on the bench. 
So uh, just going to test this guy. First, uh, first things first. Let's put some power on. It's uh, positive and the negative. Now the switch is here and it's switched off. Now power on and switch on, and there we go. So uh, it's uh, it's flashing. The the lights are flashing, and if we change the uh, the resistance. Okay, I didn't notice a huge change. Uh, can it get faster, perhaps? There we go, that's definitely faster. So let's um let's hook up our uh our our, our scope. Where will we put him? Uh Just put him across the uh, one of the LEDs. Actually, you know, let's uh, let's put on uh, the additional probe as well. We'll put on channel two on the other LED. All right, and if we just hit uh, auto on that, see what it does. There we go. And if we uh, change the time scale, fascinating. I don't understand why that blue one's so noisy. got a bit of noise on it doesn't it <sighs> let's see if uh, if attaching the uh, the ground lead uh, makes any difference so I've, I've disconnected it here I'll, I'll just put it back on and connect him here and uh, let's see if we get a better signal that way yeah much better and let's just uh, zoom out a bit more. There we go. Yeah. So you can see one goes high as one goes low. And the high takes a little while to charge up, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. Now if we uh, hit it with a bit of light, yeah, you can see that um, the, the period has uh, decreased. So, uh, <sighs> just a bit faster and you can see that on the on the wavelength on the scope let me take that away it slows down and uh, if we cover it right up it's as slow as it gets it's as slow as it gets all right well I think it's time to wrap that one up so uh, it's just uh, over to the farewell camp and that's that so this was project number six the photometer um, obviously the uh, the CDS cell detected the light and the light uh, luminescence affected the, the the rate of oscillation of our a stable multi vibrator which caused our uh, our LEDs to flick on and off so I thought that was pretty cool actually um, and of course we used the, uh, the big uh, electrolytic capacitors because the, um, you, we use the uh, ceramic capacitors when we want a high pitched tone out of the, uh, out of the buzzer um, and we use the electrolytics we want, we want a slow flash between the, uh, the LEDs. I think if 
if we try to switch out the electrolytics for the capacitors, I imagine that the, um, the LEDs would be flashing so fast that they'd appear just to be on. They'd eff effectively be being pulse width modulated. Um, so the, the frequency would adjust, would essentially adjust their brightness, uh, I imagine. Uh, I suppose, no, I don't, I don't think we'll do that experiment. Um, yeah, so that's that for, for, for project number six. The next project is project number seven, Shot in the Dark One. Shot in the Dark One. So it sounds like it's going to be another project using the CDS cell. And if you're interested in that, don't forget to hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.